Hi everybody, this is Peggy and Rick, and we're in Matagorda, Texas, at Christ Episcopal Church. Old, historic church, and we're going to do our readings today from here. The church was just painted, repainted about six months ago, the interior. The windows have been cleared from Here is our altar, and Peggy can start. Hello, everybody. Our opening prayer. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings, for with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. A reading from Matthew. Whenever you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by people. I assure you, they've got their reward. But when you pray, go into your private room, shut your door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret all will reward you. When you pray, don't babble like the idolaters, since they imagine they'll be heard for their many words. Don't be like them, because your Father knows the things you need before you ask him. Therefore, you should pray like this. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in prayer this evening. We love you. We miss you. We hope to see you here in Christ Episcopal Church as soon as we possibly can. Keep, keep, keep smiling, smiling, everybody. Keep smiling. Bye.